in the blue hell was asking for this? Who gives a shit about Escape Room? Does anybody even remember that first movie? I know that I saw it in theaters, but for the life of me, I couldn't remember anything about it, character-wise, plot-wise. And so thankfully, the beginning of this film shows a recap. <laughs> a whole two, three minute recap of the first film because I would never remember shit. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, a.k.a. Review King MB, and I just got back from the theater. No, I didn't watch it on a streaming service. No, I didn't get a screener. No, I didn't even bootleg it. I actually paid money, sat down in the theater, and watched this piece of shit film. Escape Room 2, Tournament of Champions! It's a 2021 film. I'm not sure if this was delayed, if it was supposed to come out last year. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? It's directed by Adam Robitel. Dude, F off. So this movie picks up where the last movie, I guess, <laughs> who fucking cares, where it left off, where our main characters that were so memorable, Zoe and Ben... Uh, because they survived the the escape room last go around, they want to find the group, the organization that created the whole thing. They want to find them, they want to expose them, catch them in the act. But of course, in trying to do so, they get caught once again in another trap, in another escape room with a bunch of other survivors who have also been involved. And there's your movie. They die off one by one. They go through various escape rooms. I hated this film. If it wasn't so obviously prevalent from the way I'm talking about this, this movie's a piece of shit. This movie is terrible. About halfway through, I had issues with the movie. But in my head, I said to myself, okay, this isn't great. It has a lot of problems. Maybe I'll give it a Netflix and chill. I was being nice. I was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. But man, it kept going into dumber, dumber scenarios. I mentioned our main characters, Zoe and Ben. I vaguely remember them from the first film. It's interesting how they had a, such a, a, a big cliffhanger for the first movie as if people were really clamoring to see more of this lore. How many horror films or just movies in general that end with them planning on doing sequels? And I'm genuinely curious and interested in said sequel, but it never happens. For whatever reason, it doesn't get a sequel. But this did. This is becoming a franchise, apparently. Zoe and Ben, the actors, are played by Taylor Russell and Logan Miller. I'm not gonna crap on them too much. Uh, the acting was not good from either of them, uh, but it's also, this was so poorly written. Their dialogue was terrible. Hearing them try to force out some of this dialogue some of this exposition, the clearly ADR stuff of them in an escape room and they have to figure out uh, certain clues or they have to overly explain what's going on as if I'm an idiot and I need to be to told that the room is filling up with water. Oh no, that means I'm going to drown. <laughs> like, really? You need to spell that out to me? I'm watching the goddamn movie. But there's just there's so many things and... And there's a couple of rooms that I thought were uh, lame, that lacked any creativity, that was too far-fetched for me to even believe any of this was plausible or possible. In the amount of time that they supposedly have to get through every escape room, that these characters would be smart enough to figure out each and every clue, to figure out all of the traps, to, to not be just all wiped out and killed just from the first room alone, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, 
there was one room involving lasers that did uh, keep me in suspense, but I thought everything else was lame and and dumb. At least two character deaths that I thought were so lame, so terrible, uninspired. I was like, really? That character just died? And I thought, well, maybe they'll come back. There was one character who they got into his backstory a little bit, and I thought, oh, okay, he's actually kind of interesting. And then, no, no, dies in the lamest way, and just not really talked about again. And then there's another character, I'm avoiding names, I'm avoiding saying who the actors are, because I don't want to, as if it fucking matters, spoil too much more. But there's one character who reveals that they can't feel pain. And you think to yourself, wow, like they actually uh, touch something that doesn't hurt them, doesn't affect them. And so you think, well, maybe that's going to come into play. Maybe that's going to be some big conclusion in the last trap where because of this ability, this X-Men mutant ab ability that they have, they'll be able to get through. No, it doesn't lead to anything. It was, why did they even have that why did you write that if it wasn't going to pay off even with all of that the bad acting the bad writing the dumb traps the implausible clues the the deaths that that were lame i was still thinking all right i'll give it a netflix and chill because i maybe i'm being overly critical maybe i'm being too judgy maybe i'm too uptight maybe i'm in a bad mood for some reason maybe other people will enjoy this more than I will. So I was being generous. And then you get to the ending. And the first ending, I thought, okay, that was underwhelming and lackluster, but that's been the norm. That's been what you've been doing. And so I was leaning more towards a similar bullshit, especially the couple of twists that tie into the first movie. I just thought, huh? <laughs> Do you guys really think that there are big fans of the first film and this series that you're you're bringing back characters and you're doing things to add to the lore? And I'm just like, wow, I, they did that. Okay, it's a sum of bullshit. But oh wait, that's not the real ending. Because you see, you have to have a twist ending. M. Night Shyamalan apparently must have come in and said, no, this movie needs a rewrite. Because the actual ending is so horrific, so horrible, so god-awful. I hated the very last shot of this movie with all my being. This is a fuck you. This movie is a big fuck you. <laughs> I cannot believe that the film, a movie that nobody gives a shit about, that I almost didn't even go see, but I was bored, made me this mad. <laughs> I can't imagine my worst movies of the year, at the end of the year, not having this on the list. It has to be there. Maybe near the top. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you too, I doubt it, saw the escape room to tournament of champions because sure why not fuck this movie man what did you think of it did you like it did you love it did you hate it who gives a shit thanks for watching like comment subscribe <laughs> later